What is going on fellow Pokemon lovers? I'm Saint Denial and you are watching the Pokemon Brown Nuzlocke episode 17 and uh, I've discovered something as I seem to discover between every episode because apparently I know nothing about this game. Um, we, don't, I, we don't even have to go into the Safari Zone like I thought. We can just ignore it and skip it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I didn't get an encounter in there anyway, so... Blah. So what I've done instead is I've flown to... Oswari City, I believe that's how it's pronounced. And we're going to go west and north. There's a new route there so we can get an encounter on the cycling road. And then we can go to Elix Forest in Johto and um, Azalea Town in Johto where we can battle the gym there. Uh, I think the leader's Bugsy still in this. So with that being said, let's go and get this done. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling pretty good after last episode. We got managed to get two badges. I know we last lost Gyarados, but uh, you know it has to be worth the sacrifice, really. Okay, so this is now Cycling Road. It has to be worth worth the sacrifice. At least we can continue going. And this is Grass in a new route. So let's see what we can get. Something new, preferably. Ratata. I had a Ratata before. I'm just going to uh, double confirm that because I don't want to be full of rubbish. Well, I kind of hope I've had a Rattata before, because I don't really want one, to be honest. And if I haven't had one before, that means I have to catch this one, and it is my encounter. And I don't really want a level 15 Rattata. Rattata. It's a bit it's a bit, bit, shit. No? Okay, alright. I've not had a Rattata, so I cannot make that clause, which means I've got to catch it, or battle it and kill it. I'm going to try and catch it, because it's worth having something. Rather than nothing. Wait, where are my Ultra Balls? Right at the top. Ah! Oh. What are you doing, Ratata? How can an Ultra Ball not catch a level 13 Ratata? It's even worse than I thought. I thought it was 15. Oh, damn it. <sighs> if I find something ought. Autumn. Oh my days, these words. Words are just not working for me today. If I find something absolutely awesome in this route, and I've ended up with a Rattata instead, I'm not going to be well impressed. Oh no, you're dead. I didn't mean to put you out. I was supposed to put... Well, that's it. I forfeit the encounter because I put a dead Pokemon out. So this is not... This is just not a good start, basically. Now, this whole hill's downhill, and... I'm guessing this trainers. I see one. What a lame bike. Oh, someone's got a motorbike, have they? Does he know it's called Cycling Road? Like, not Motorbike Road. Uh, trainers with level 42 Pokemon. That's pretty scary. Yeah, disable. Bet that's. Oh, hyper beam. That's fine. I wasn't gonna use that anyway. An ice beam sorts out muck. And now we've got Gligar. Um, mm. I can't change Pokemon. I don't have any choice. So. Oh, beating the shit out of my microphone. Sorry, lad. Perfect. It's got another muck. I see we're going to go against a lot of these probably on this cycling road. So we'll go for the dig. I don't know if maybe digs super effective in this. Well, it is as well. Oh no. Oh yes, it is. And it got the crit. Perfect. Great timing. And save you finally gets level 50. Once again, we're going to ignore. Just gonna go for the dig. I've got that level eight side up. I could get out and start switch training, but I feel like at this point the better thing to do is just level up Savior as high as possible. And unless I find something amazing, and then just make it a solo run. I've got Gliscor in this game. I feel like, hmm, did Gliscor get introduced in Gen two or Gen three? Let me know. Oh, but it has got flying type, though, so Dig's no good. 
I thought it was introduced in Gen 3, which would make it very interesting that there's a Gen 3 Pokemon in this game. But I know Gligar's Gen 2. I thought it got its evolution in Gen 3. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a Pokemon master. Clearly. I am satisfied. Thank you. Didn't even do a quarter hat damage to me. And there's water here. I could have fished for my Pokemon. I'm not going to go through the grass because I'm just going to get bitter. Unless there's an item. Uh, no. Anything up there? No, but I'm going to battle this guy. Let's get some experience. Conformist! Why? What about me is conformed? I, I mean, maybe I have followed the conformed shape of an actual human being rather than a beach ball, but other than that, I will go for the dig. I don't think it's going to be very effective, but I'd rather stay out of this thing's way because it's... It definitely has guillotine. And if it lands a guillotine... It's game over. Ugh! Oh, man, I'm going to twitch every time I see that. So guillotine is a one-hit KO move. It's got ass accuracy, but if it does hit... And it KOs my saviour. GG, good game. Thanks for watching. Have, everyone have a nice day. Now, if I use Dig and I outspeed and it tries to transform... Nah, it still hits. Bullshit. I thought, I thought I'd, like, done some real clever stuff there. Damn it. And the interesting thing about in this gen, I don't know if it goes for every generation, but when Ditto transforms, it copies your stat. So, like, no matter what level it is now, it's going to have the same stats as my saviour, which is pretty gnarly. And if it goes for a hyper beam, it could very well finish me off. Ah, but I at speed, and I get a crit, and you're down, my son. Cheers for coming, cue ball. Ah. Cue ball, the pirate. Ah, there's nothing up there for us, so let's just quickly heal before we take on this dude. He looks mean as well. And let's also hope we don't run into anything in this grass because I'm telling you, if I like run into like an Alakazam or something, I would be crying. Not that I imagine there's Alakazams in the grass, but you know what I mean. There's Charbuck. And you, my friend, are going to hit the Ice Beam. Oh, about level 44. Screech, that lowers defense, but it misses. Ice Beam takes him down with a crit as well. That crit didn't matter, he was going down anyway. Now we've got Tauros, another pretty tanky dude. Uh, and let's give him a Hyper Beam, just for fun. I've got to recharge. Why are all these moves failing? Every time someone tries to lower my defense or attack, it just fails. Very interesting. And we get level 51. Shoot. Sorry, Biker. Oh, more grass. And this is Route 48. Well, I'm coming into Route 48 now, so this is a new route. I'm, is is what I'm gathering from that. Which means if there's no grass here, I can whip out a fishing rod and get an encounter. I think. Cue ball. Tauros again. I'm level 38. I'm guessing this guy's got lots of Pokemon, but not high levels. I didn't actually see how many he had. I'm going to have a piece of biscuit. That's a bit rude while I'm, while I'm uh, recording, but... Man's got to eat, you know? I just move away so you can't hear me chewing, yeah. Prime ape now. Straight in with the surf. Yep, down he goes. Next we have my choke. This cue ball's got fighting types for days. I kind of need to hope that I'm not going to run into 
many more Pokemon trainers after this because I don't have that many moves left. I've only really got, um, yeah. Oh, man, I've got 10 more surfs after this. That might get me through a few battles. Depending on what I'll come up against. But yeah, thanks for coming, Dugtrio. Nice meeting you. I feel like I had a dub trail at some point in this game, but I might be completely lying. I'm finding it hard to remember what I haven't, hadn't had. Hadn't, 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 hadn't. Big path. There's grass there. Okay, so this is a new route. So that grass is fair game, I think. Yep. Ooh, it's a Pikachu! I've not had one of them yet. And I've got a Thunderstone in the bank. This could be good. Now, how do I battle this thing without killing it outright? That's the problem. Anything I hit it with here is going to absolutely destroy it. And if I send Psyduck out to try and get some moves off, he's going to get destroyed as well. Which makes me think, let's just start chucking balls around. Yeah, got five Ultra Balls, who knows, you might stay in. Come on, Pikachu, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Ball! Get in! Thanks, Pika Pika. Do you want to give a nickname to Pikachu? Yes. And I'm going to call him Sweet Cheeks. And the reason I'm doing that, apart from the nice cheeks that he's got, is because I've been following... Um, Pokemon Poll Quest on Twitter. If you don't follow them, do it because it's fun. And our most recent catch was a Pikachu. And the current leading vote just before I started recording this video for the nickname is Sweet Cheek. Cheeks. But I won't be able to fit the S on, so we'll just go for Sweet. Where's H in the alphabet? <laughs> there we go. Sweet Cheek. Perfect. Oh, I didn't mean to get into a battle. Pidgeotto, though. Mm. Might be time to see what Sweet Cheek's made of. I should be losing straight away now. So, Sand Attack lowers accuracy. But Sweet Cheek... See, I'm thinking he's going to have an Electric-type move that I can just absolutely smash him with, but he's only got Thunder Wave. Well, we'll get the paralysis anyway. There we go. And we'll start going to work with Swift. Yeah. Keep going. Oh, man, it's the grind. Such a grind. Gust, not going to do much because I'm an electric type. And I'm neutral. Pajoto is fully paralysed again. Swift hits. Yeah, easy. Nice one. Okay, and... Here we go, we're in Johto, I think. I think that's what it's telling me. It's good to know. And um, we're going to have to battle this dude. That's okay. Having good enough luck. Yeah, I'm having an alright look, actually. It's been going pretty well. Up until now. However... That's... Ah, he's only level 41. I don't like to sleep, but I'm going to sleep on you, Hypno. I think I'm going to want it, you, with Surf. Oh, no, you're bulkier than I thought. Fair enough. Maybe two then, but... Still easy. There he goes. Sick. 52, he's trying to learn Hydro Pump. Do you know what? I don't know if I want him to learn Hydro Pump. His accuracy is not great. It's powerful. I've already got Surf, which is pretty powerful and accurate. Hyper Beam is a really powerful move as well. And it gives me type coverage, but I don't get stab on it. I'm going to keep it in the air. Sack off Hydro Pump. I'm going to keep Surf and Hyper Beam. Just for the type coverage, I've got a ground move, a normal move, a water move, and an ice move. So I'm 
I'm covering a lot of bases there. And before we get in the next battle, actually, let's... Okay, here's where I can't do something stupid here. I'm going to put Pikachu up front so that I can switch train. But I've got to remember... Oh, God, wrong one. I've got to remember that I'm switch training. Not just going to battle with him and be like, Oh, start spamming Growl. And while I'm at it, have I got any TMs with me that Pikachu might be useful with? Psychic. Oh, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? That's a no, then. Fair enough. Okay. So, we've got to battle these guys. I'm weary that one of them could have something that's going to just destroy me. However, I'm going to take some of them on. Get some experience. Maybe just this guy. And he's gone for my choke. Sweet cheeks out there, and we'll switch out for Savior straight away. It's risky this switch training, I know it, but I'm not sure whether the better idea is to only use Savior or to try and get somebody else at a high enough level to be competitive. Because I'm gonna go do this gym, which is sort of an off side quest, it's not really an actual region, it's not a region gym because it's in Johto, so I don't need the badge for the region league, but... Oh, I don't know. Oh, man, I hate this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat the region league and the last gym without having... I mean, with just one Pokemon. Even if I level it up to, like, 70 or something, I'm probably still going to need something else. The second I come out, I get... Oh. Okay, and you know, I might just have to give up here, because I can't even say... <laughs> I can't even say anything anymore. Ah! Okay, nearly fell into that battle then. Yeah, I've done, done with battling here. Right, let's just have a look at the time map. I'm guessing by now we're not in a new route yet. But I kind of want to see. Wait, okay, so let's just go back. So Route 49 was the bit where we went in. In there, okay. Wait, 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 wait. 48B. 48B? Does that mean there's a 48A? Because if there is, that I might have already been there and that might mean I can catch something. Or unless, yeah, maybe 48B is the uh, southern one and 48A is what I'm about to go into up here, maybe. That's the end of the road, anyway. Route 47. Okay, we're in Route 47. That's still cycling road. Okay, so it's it's this grass up here that I can catch something in. And what's the best way around this to not have to do too many battles? Take out this guy and then I can spin round, I think. Just like go down. Blah, 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 blah. I think we'll make it that way. Boom, bam, bam. Ariados, the Johto Pokemon are appearing. No Wade. Stop spamming. Savior out there. Ice Beam. Nightshade's kind of scary. That's no, not too bad. Oh. Speed goes, but I think I'm still going to outspeed. Yeah. See, now I'm actually starting to get low on uh, moves. On PP. And it's a bit worrying. 188 is about to use Gligar. Oh, and I miss with the Surf. The Gen 1 miss. That 1 in 250 something chance that a 100% accuracy move will miss. The Gen 1 miss. And it's a crit. It's super effective. And there goes Gligar. Next we have Murkrow. Again, we'll stick in. Oh, it's another Nightshade though. Ah! Oh, okay. We, we heal the next turn no matter what, because I'm not risking this. I'm not up for the riskiness. I ain't got the balls. There we are. Nice one. And next we have Marowak. Yeah, definitely heal. Marowak can be powerful. 
Tamarowak got any one hit KO moves? For some reason, when I saw it, it made me jump a little bit. And I don't know if I was just being a bit twitchy. Hmm. Well, there's the heal anyway. And whatever it went for, it failed, but I skipped it, so who knows. And we'll go for the Ice Beam. Oh, I should have just gone for Surf. Oh well, it was super effective and killed it anyway, so... It really meant no odds. Oh, the battle winning theme's changed, hasn't it? Maybe that's because we're in a different place. Maybe we're just in a Oh, grass! Okay, this is an encounter! This is an encounter! It's my old do Fero. I've already had a Fero on the team, though. Uh, which means I can skip and get something else. And that's what I'm gonna do. Until I find something I've not had before. There's another Fero. I mean, if I keep getting Feroes, I will just continue to have Feroes. I don't really mind. And I will just catch a Fero. Pidgeotto. I have had a Pidgey, but I'd quite like a Pidgeotto. Get it up to a Pidgeot. That'd be quite cool. Now I, I skip you. I want something. Lickitung! Oh, man, I think you're a bit crap, but you're an encounter, so I've got to have you. I don't mind that too much, actually. It's normal type, again, different different uh, coverage to other things that I've got at the minute. I probably will keep it on the team, but I think the guy that I'm switch training will still keep, will still continue to be Pikachu. Oh, if I manage to keep Pikachu alive, jeez. That Lickitung's pretty bulky. I went for Swift on it, it didn't even make it flinch, like, didn't touch it. Okay. Hit with the surf. And if it's as bulky as I think it is, it might actually survive it. So I think it's got quite a lot of HP. Oh no, that went down fast. Okay. That's alright, bit of experience for everyone. So no no new encounter here then. Don't be something amazing there. Uh, that's Fero again. Ugh, so frustrating. Well, we seem to be back to safety now anyway. Cycling road leads to the region city. I know that. I've just come from there. And what do we have up here? Little girl. We both live nearby. My brother loves Azalea Town. Yeah, me too. It's nice. And what do we have here? Looked into the binoculars. Lake of Rage. Wish we could go there and get that Gyarados. Looked into the binoculars. Magnet Drain. Perfect. So, let's... Where does this... Ooh! That's pleasant. Okay, I've got to play this right because if I, can, if I go in with Pikachu, I survive one move and get the paralysis with Thunder Wave, then switch out. This is going to make this much easier. So, oh yeah, you have to actually get the Poker Flute with this. Remember? No, I know I've got the Poker Flute with me. Don't do. There we go. Don't do that to me. Looking forward to this. I'm guessing this guy comes in at level 30. Snorlax woke up. He's not very happy. Let's see what we get. What level are we at? 30. Still a bit crap, really, but... Now, if I'm still going for the theory that I'm only training up two mons, Snorlax is a probably better than... Uh, than Pikachu for what I need on my team. He goes for the headbutt. Well, it's a good job Snorlax is better than Pikachu because Pikachu did. <laughs> Pikachu did. So, Savior comes in. Oh, let's make a little note of that then, eh? Bloody rubbish. Can't believe it. So, next we go for. I mean, this thing. He's, he's not scary, is he? He's not gonna. Nah. Nah. Nah, this guy ain't gonna do nothing to me. He's only level 30. Surf might kill it. So basically, I lost Pikachu and gained a fuck all. Why has it returned to the mountains? Why hasn't it just come back to me right now? God damn it. Okay, so we're back down to Psyduck and Saviour. That's, that's it. And this is... Okay, I don't... 
I'm guessing that was Elix Forest, and this is... <sighs> Come on, I need to know where I am, because I need to know if I can get an encounter. Okay, so this is still Elix Forest, basically, is what you're telling me right now. Let's just flick till we get down. If we get down. Yep, 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 yep. Oh my days, this is a long move. Is he not going to come back down here? So frustrating. So frustrating. Well, I'm guessing we're in Elix Forest anyway. But well, then what was that north? Was that Elix Forest as well? And can I get through it without grass? Because I don't really want to get an encounter right now. Please keep quiet about my crying. Oh, why are you crying? Tim 44. That's cool. So this is... That would normally be going to... Is it Goldenrod? By going this way? But obviously that's not happening. And the daycare that's there is coming off as well. So this isn't Elix Forest. This is the route after Elix Forest. Looks like there was a... I don't know, avalanche or something. Let's have a look what these TMs are that I've just picked up while we're here. Substitute. No. And. Rest. Well, let's see if I can get a uh, Pokemon down here anyway. Even though I've been in the grass quite a bit and nothing's shown up yet, so. I'm thinking there might not be any counters here. Yep, there we go. Absolutely nothing. I might see if I can get through here with a max repel and not run into anything so I can save my moves in case I run into a trainer and then heal up at the Pokemon Center at Azalea Town and then come back. Razor Claw is good. I think that increases critical hit ratio. No, no it doesn't. It increases attack, I think. It increases something. Full restore, that's good. Full Restore should restore PPs, if we're totally honest. This is... Gold Leaf! Don't know what that does. I, mean, I hope it's something to do with Celebi. I could do with finding Celebi right now. And... PP up! Useful if I do get into a sticky situation. What's going off here? Pearl? Is this... This is Azalea Town. Yes, it is. Perfect. So, the next move then is to put Pokemon that I don't need back in the box. And I'm talking, of course, about Pikachu. Thanks for coming, Pikachu, but I killed you. Sorry about that. It was an accident, I swear. All the Slowpoke ran out of town during the quake. I've never seen them run so fast. Damn. Boy, that was some quake. So it was an earthquake. Thank goodness everyone is okay. Yeah, thank God. Pearl's effect wears off. Don't care. So let's go around town and have a chat with some people. Oh, I love the Azalea Town theme tune. Beautiful. I can't get up to Kurt's house up there. So the gym's available. The Pokemon Center's available. And I'm guessing since he's just mentioned Slowpoke well, I can get there too. There it is. This guy. Please keep quiet about my crying. Oh, I guess everyone's upset about the earthquake. Can't get that way either. There's another guy up there. I need to talk to him before I leave as well. So, Slowpoke well. Oh, the music's awesome. If I could get an encounter in here, that'd be pretty cool. There we are. It's a Zubat. Again, I flick back. I can pretty... I seem to remember having a Zubat on my... Uh, layout. So, yeah, I have had a Zubat. And it's level 10. Come on. Well, now that I know there's level 10s down here, I don't really know whether to bother trying to get a flipping encounter. So you can get in Slowpoke well, but it doesn't look like there's much in here. Slowpoke, well, that definitely is new, and it's level 10. So let's just throw an Ultra Ball and uh, see what we get. I mean, really? Do I bother? Really? Level 10? I'm surprised it did two damage, to be honest. I thought it was going to do one. Well, we've got it as a backup, just in case. But, I mean, just in case what? The next time I die, I'm 
that's the end of the game, so... Oh, well. We'll call him... P, with an exclamation mark. Oh, I say. What I was actually going to do was um, use another... Where is it? Repel. So I don't keep running into bullshit. And then stick out... No, that's not what I'm doing at all, Wade. You're full of rubbish. I'm surfing on empty bottles. That's what I'm doing. Nothing else up there, so let's go down. Oh! Well, this looks like an interesting place anyway. So let's see what there is to be found. There's a person there, for one. The earthquake's over. Thanks, here. So my bag's full, is what you're telling me. Idiot. So no, a razor claw makes someone evolve then. So I can't use the god leaf either. PP up. I mean, I'd like to save that PP up for the league, because if I'm going in with one Pokemon. 10.50. Let's just teach substitute to someone random just to get it out of my face. There we go. Get out of my face! Let's see what he wants to give me. The earthquake's over. Thanks, here. King's Rock. That's to evolve Slowpoke. Into Slowking. Right. Maybe something else too, but that's the only one I can think of. Oh, man. Well, still, good to have. I don't think I'm going to need it, but good to have. And let's take a look up here. Yeah, I feel like there's something hidden here. And I'm just going to mash A and walk around to find out what it could be. I mean, if there honestly is nothing in here apart from that King's Rock. Like, to me, that just seems like it's such a waste of time. Oh, well. Uh, so, I'm just going to write down that we've got a slow poke now. It's good to know. And let's use this King's Rock and see if it does evolve our Slowpoke. Yes, it does. There we go. Why not, just for the sake of it? And we've got a Slow King. Beautiful, at level 10. Absolutely useless. Now, I think I can use Dig to get away from here and it should just take me back to the Azalea Town Pokemon Center because I did use the Pokemon Center there. Yeah. Oh, I used the Pokemon Center there. Why was I worrying about PP on Blastoise? Idiot. Well, either way, we're back here now, so let's take on the gym. And there are gym trainers in here. And how many? A couple. Oh, I'm on there as well. You know what? Let's take them all on. I'm up for the fight. Let's do it. These guys have bug types. I have... A saviour who shouldn't be... It should be alright against bug types. Ice Beam, I don't think it's super effective, but... It should be good. Yeah. Man, it crits. Nice one. Surf should be okay. Hyper Beam's good. Scyther's part flying type, so Ice Beam might be super effective. Yep. There we go. So he gets level 53, and now Venomoth. Oh, uh, poison Bug. Not part flying. I'm going to go for Ice Beam anyway. Yeah. Yeah, Poison Bug type. Psy Beam. Well, maybe it's part Psychic. I don't think it is, to be honest, though. Oh, well. It's over now. And there goes one bug catcher. So now we've got three guys to take on before the gym leader. So let's just play it safe. Get up to full health. We can take on this gym, and then that will be the end of the episode. But we are going to get the gym done. Okay. You come here from the region, region boy. 
Ya mega. Ooh. Power. So we hit that with the ice beam as well. Port flying, so that's gonna. Yeah, there we are. Easy. And it gets the crit just in case. Next we have Pincer, which is bug. Just just bug, yeah. Pure bug pincer, yeah. Yeah. So we go for dig. Harden to raise the defense. Digs not gonna be super effective. Oh man, it's not effective at all. It's absolutely rubbish. Should have stuck with the ice beam. Definitely. Man, I'm getting a lot of critical hits with that ice beam. Uh, now Venomoth, and again, no choice but to stick in, really. Ice beam hits. Crits. Getting a crit every time with that ice beam. Starting to think it's a good move to uh, just use on everything, pretty much. I'm fully paralyzed, so the sleep pad is not going to affect me, but also I can't hit you. There's the surf. And down goes Venomoth. That's perfection right there. Oof. Cheers, dude. Next. Book collecting is my life. You sad boy. You sad boy. No, not really. Book collecting. Book collecting is the whole reason that Pokemon exists. I forgot the name of the guy that created Pokemon, but if he'd not done book collecting, he wouldn't have been inspired to make Pokemon. So, I can't say anything bad against book collecting. Easy. This guy loves the Parasect. Man, Parasects are disturbing. The mushroom on their back grows so big that it takes over their brain. And they're basically just dead zombies with a fungus controlling them. I mean, that's pretty grim. Spore doesn't affect. Ice Beam. Beautiful jump. I'm going to have a 54. And now Butterfree as well. Sleep power doesn't affect me because I'm paralyzed. Man, I'm grateful for that paralysis. Which stopped me going to sleep for like four turns now, so that's pretty good. Thanks, youngster. Yo, stub fingers. I guess these bugs need more training. Yeah. So what am I doing? Oh, actually, what am I doing? Full heal. For my saviour. And we take on this dude. I hear you're good. You don't know me. I mean, unless you actually heard me battling over there and thought, oh, he sounds good. Beedrill. Your part flying. I guess not. Thought he was. Goes down in one anyway. Yeah, I see he's getting powerful now. Venomoth. Nope. Another hyper beam. Oh, paralyzing me again. I hate paralysis. I hate that it slows down so much. Yeet. Yeet, yeet, yeet. Yeet, yeet. Perfect. And we go with Butterfree last. Butterfree's bug flying. Or is it bug psychic? Hmm. Yeah, it's bug flying. It's bug flying. There's another bug catcher. Now, for the last dude, I think we can go into this without going to the Pokemon Center. I think we can just run straight in. Hello, I'm Bugsy. I love to train book Pokemon. I really fight region trainers, so let's see how this goes. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, my friend. Exciting. So it comes with Aridos first. Seen a few of these already. And I don't have anything super effective against it, but... Um, oh, I'm out of Ice Beam. Damn. Let's just hit a Hyper Beam and finish it off in one go. Hopefully. Easy. Thank you. 
now we've got Heracross. Bug fighting. Uh, so I think... Mm, I don't know. Bugs... Uh, is ground good against fighting? No, because that would have made that a neutral, but it didn't. Take down misses, and we'll go for Surf, because at least it's Stab, even if it's not that powerful against it. Yeah. As expected so far. No surprises. Butterfree. No, we're we'll sticking. Can't use the Ice Beam to come out, so we'll go straight in for Surf. And we're trying on Brute Power. It's good, it's good, it's good. Supersonic doesn't hit, thank goodness, because I do not want to have to deal with confusion. Yes, I feel like we're getting another gym badge right here. And it won't even get added to the layout, which is annoying, because I'm, I'm only putting the eight region badges on the layout. But still, it's a gym badge. And there's Yam Mega. And Yam Mega... I feel like Yam Mega is another excuse to go for a Hyper Beam. I love an excuse to go for a Hyper Beam. Oh, just good, but not the one. And there's Supersonic. <sighs> so frustrating. And it goes for Sonic Boom as well. Man, I hate Supersonic. At least I can withstand that Sonic Boom. Which I feel like is probably the best move it's got, to be honest. It's got Wing Attack. And that's a crit. Still not doing a lot. There we go. Confused no more. Only confused for one turn. And the Surf. Yes, finishes off your Mega. I might have to heal next turn, depending on what comes out. We've got a Caesar. No, I'm not changing Pokemon. I don't have that option, but I am going to heal up. This thing could have something very nasty up its sleeve. Like those massive pincers. Okay. Swift. All good so far. I can deal with that. And that's a crit as well, so not doing that much damage. Let's go for the Hyper Beam, see what happens. So this is part steel, part bug. Critical hit, not very effective. And Metal Claw is not going to be very effective against me either. I have to recharge. You're going to go for Metal Claw again, which again is not going to do anything. And I think I might be able to finish it with Surf, because that should be neutral. Yes! Surf might have been a better option than Hyper Beam to begin with, to be honest. And there we go. Bug catcher, well done. It's a gym. Johto badges are useless for your league, so I will give you a rare Pokemon. Oh, good. Take only one, though. Don't be greedy, Mr. Foreigner. Okay, so I can have a Pokemon. Brilliant. Good, because I didn't really want a badge anyway. So we can have... Sneasel. Ice type? Is it... Or, Gligar. Oh, this is a tough one. Gligar or Sneasel. You know what? Sneasel. Yes. And we have a Sneasel. And let's please hope that Sneasel's a decent level. And we're going to call him... Bless you. Because that's how amazingly funny I am. I wish this was in uh, QWERTY. I may have said that already, but this is spinning me out. Can I have this one as well, please? Better not get greedy. Okay. Fair dues. Right. Let's have a look at our Sneasel. It's level 30, which is not a bad level to start trading it up. Dark and Ice. Nice one. I know I'm going to get confused by it because I don't really understand the um, type, the typing in this game yet because it's got its own types. I don't know what's good against Dark, what's good against blah, 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 blah the rest of it. Well, I think that's it up here. I don't really think there's anything else we can do, is there? We'll go, I'm just going to have a walk to... Oh, there's a guy near Slowpoke 
Slowpoke Jim. Hmm. Words coming out wrong. There's a guy near Slowpoke Well that I didn't talk to up here. So say up to him and then that'll be the end of it. I want to get out of here. Oh. Yeah, I guess these guys are all sort of trapped. Like, you can't... I mean... I mean, do I have to tell him? Dude. You can come to Region. There's like a path and stuff. Wow. Well, that... You know what? It's not the end of the episode because what we're going to do now... Actually, I didn't get an encounter in this uh, Elix Forest right here. So let's get an encounter. Here it is. It's an oddish. I'm gonna I'm gonna call dupes on that. I think I've already had an oddish. I have indeed. Oh, and it's level seven as well. Oh, what's the point even catching something in this forest if it's gonna be level seven? It's another oddish. Yeah, we'll try a couple more times, but if it's just Paris, yeah, you know what? I forfeit this encounter. It's bullshit. Thank you all very much for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe if you have. I really appreciate it. And um, comment because I really like talking to you guys. Follow me on Twitter at STDenialGaming. And again, I really like talking to you. So, you know, hit me up. Let's have a chat. Uh, next episode, we're going to come back, go to the last gym, which is back in that Egglo, Egglow, Egglo City. Yeah, back there. And um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's it. We'll be on to the region league after that, so maybe a couple of episodes away. We'll be we'll be on um, Victory Road, ready to smash up the Elite Four or get smashed up by the Elite Four. So once again, thank you all very much for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace.